Yeah. So who lives and who dies? Yes. Um, Feel free, none of this is going on the internet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you who, but I think that's a great question because I think there is a chance that someone we love a lot might not make it to season three. Um, make of that what you will. How does it happen? Oh, come on, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you were uh, it, it will be a big emotional deal, and the, the reason that... I can tell you this. If I kill a character, I kill a character because I want it to have a big impact and set up conflict that happens in subsequent seasons. So, like for, exa for, for example, for Kenya, um, that set up Amanda and Stama and a really complicated set of circumstances for season two. Um, if someone were to die this season, it would set up a uh, very complex uh, set of character dynamics uh, for season three, and that is, and that that would be the goal if I were to kill someone. Right. <laughs> not that I have. Not that no. Of course not. You never. Yes. What brought our uh, main characters into the city initially was this big battle. Mm -hmm. um, might we see something like another big attack like that in the city? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, perhaps on on uh, not not the same form. Okay. I'm, try, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you an act, I'm trying to actually give you an answer okay. that is accurate, but also doesn't give away anything at the same time. And, and I have a tiny dinosaur brain that only processes so fast. <laughs> the, the, the so yes, yeah, so I, I think that we're, what, what we're looking what we're looking at is in season. Um, thank you so much. In uh, at this point last year, between season one and season two, my my talking point when I was doing this conversation with everybody was. We're in season two. We're going to basically flip up the ch the chessboard and knock all the pieces every which way. We're doing the same trick, but we're but instead of it being the people in the town, we're knocking all over the chessboard for planet Earth. And where we're going is uh, the the way that the governments and the interactions of, of the various nascent empires uh, that's going to all change up for season three. And Defiance's role is going to be very very different. So the answer to your question is yes. And the threat for this season is a lot bigger than a bunch of bulge coming in to destroy the town. It's it's quite a bit larger than that. <laughs> so with Arissa, there was a little bit of a hint to some backstory about how all of the various races arrived to Earth and something bigger going on. And we only hinted at it a little bit. Do we go back to it some more as we get towards the end of the season? We do. Uh, if you remember the episode where we had those curious uh, flashbacks to the, the crazy-ass spaceship, mm -hmm. um, we're going to see, and actually this coming Thursday, we're going to be going back and we're going to be uh, explaining what the heck all that meant. Because it's, it's sort of there between the lines, but it's, it, it's we'll, we'll see more of that and it'll be laid out a lot more clearly. By the way, that guy that, uh, that, guy that uh, was on the spaceship with the other Orissa, um, that's played by Robin Dunn, who was, uh, who was, who was coming onto the show as a, as, a, as a recurring character. And um, he, uh, for the trivia-minded, he also was our... Uh, our Adreno uh, lab guy that died back in uh, back in episode three, and Kenya Kenya stabbed him with the uh, with a piece of with a piece of glass. Uh, but it's a great when, when there's a character that we like, um, or was an actor we like, we can bring them back. So he was a human then, and we brought him back as, as an Arathian. You'll never tell the difference. We did we did the same thing with uh, the Indigene from the pilot in episode two, a man uh, Ben who was Amanda's assistant. That was a, that was an actor named Doug Nyback who we just adored. So we brought him back, and he's been all through season two. He's been one of the e rep soldiers, and I promised him I won't kill you twice. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you. That's very kind. So there were a couple times we were actually in a situation, where, and then we, they killed the e rep guys. I was like, wait, no, no, no. That's not, okay. We have to take Doug out of that scene because I can't kill him. I promised. <laughs> So is season three official now? Uh, you think we wouldn't have been trumpeting that all over the place <laughs> if it were? Um, no, we ha we have to wait. 
and that's you know it's not the we've been here before we were we were waiting last year too um, but you know I feel I feel cautiously optimistic because certainly the show is working well um, the, the numbers have been moving in the right direction and you know we've got a very game cast that's been uh, really working with social media and you know we're certainly if, if the show doesn't come back it's not because of anything that we uh, that we didn't try hard on our part so I kind of feel that there's a certain serenity in that that you do everything you can and then you don't don't sweat it too much is there a path written for both outcomes like whether it's picked up or not do you have an idea what you want to go or if it's and doesn't get picked up or it does well it doesn't <laughs> yeah to another show on another network <laughs> uh, I have I have the pathway for if it does get picked up uh, it's not it's kind of fun when we do these because when I talk to the actors because they want to know what's coming ahead for their characters so sometimes I just make shit up <laughs> and then when I repeat it it gets reinforced and it's like hey wait that actually is a pretty good idea maybe we could actually do that and so there were, there were a lot of there were a lot of ideas uh you know, for for, uh, for next season, it sort of got honed when I was in a uh, in, in a, a bar in London uh, two weeks ago with Stephanie, and just kind of catching her up on what's going down with Alyssa. But uh, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. A template for what happens next year, and I know I know what the last I know what the last moment of season three is, and what the and what the change up is. But I'm not going to tell us. Yeah. Uh, how is the I'll tell you this. Perhaps there are more than seven races of votants. Uh, how is the tie-in of the game working out this season? Uh, it's it's been a. It, it's 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 been it's it's been a transition because uh, Tryon had a big change and uh, it was it was it was not a secret it was in the press they had a big change in their uh, in, in just their, their their structure and their leadership and their creative team so a lot of that was happening as we were shooting season two uh, so there, there there was a certain like. Uh, meshedness that we saw it that was difficult to accomplish um, now I kind of feel that that transition has happened and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do better there certainly are great things happening we have one of our big players is uh, going into the game um, and it's not Nolan and Arisa we've seen before we have the contest winner that's coming here we have the big global thing that I've been talking about we'll have ramifications in the it will leave the game and the show both changed um, uh, and I, you know, I, the fact that we're doing it at all, I'm very, very proud of. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, it's, it's the way the way that you have to do this is you have to, you have, you have, because it's because it's sequential what we do. If in this this set of episodes, if, you know, a particular crossover didn't work as well as we had hoped, well, we'll get it right the next time. And then we just keep trying because we've got, you know, this is a show that hopefully runs over many years, and we can, build, you know, improve the technology and improve it because it's it's very exciting that we're doing this transmedia crossover thing, and it's you know the first the, the first few cards that uh, that rolled off the assembly line uh, from the Ford plant uh, weren't as good as the cards we have today, but over time they got better. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you guys so much.